Welcome to my chat. As you all know, the COVID vaccination drive is in full swing in India. It started with doctors and other frontline workers. So today we have with us a special guest, Dr. Vishal Rastogi from Fortis Escorts Heart Institute. He has recently received the COVID vaccine and we'll talk with him about his experience of the vaccination procedure. Thank you, Manoj. Thank you so much. Can we please start with you telling our audience a little bit about yourself? All right. So I'm Dr. Vishal Rastogi. I am the additional director of cardiology at Fortis Scott's Heart Institute. I also happen to head the heart failure program at Fortis Scott's Heart Institute. And uh, I see a lot of patients who have weak heart, who have a lot of comorbidities, and uh, I take care of very, very sick patients. I've seen COVID very, very closely in these years, and it was a harrowing experience. This was the worst ever uh, experience that, you know, that we could see here. Can you tell us a little bit more about what it was like to do your work, given that COVID was all around, there were no vaccines, and you were treating the most severely sick patients? Yeah, so Manoj, this was, uh, as I said, uh, it was a nightmare. Uh, the patients uh, were very, very, very afraid to come to the hospital. They were thinking that, uh, you know, if they go out of the house, uh, they kept on suffering uh, and they did not uh, try to seek medical care. Gradually, uh, when the problem became so severe that they couldn't tolerate uh, it at home, they had to come to the hospital. And we have seen so many patients who have reached beyond a certain uh, treatable condition. And uh, this is very, very uh, sad that uh, you know patient care has suffered to a great deal in this time. In fact, I performed angioplasty of at least five patients who were detected to be COVID positive later on. Of course, I was wearing a double mask. I was wearing an N95 mask and then another mask and the patients also used to wear masks. So luckily, uh, I did not get uh, transmitted and I did not have the disease. But uh, this was just a matter of luck and chance that I did not have it because the disease was so rampant uh, that it was definitely a very, very, I would say, terrifying experience. The patients uh, were also very much worried. They were depressed. Uh, they were uh, at home. They were not able to do any routine activity. They were not able to go out. The exercise, all their sugars, all, all their exercise program was not possible. So these, this, these were tough times. We can totally understand and thank you so much for your service and to all other doctors like you. So I suppose a vaccine would have been really, really handy during this time. Thankfully, we have one now and we believe you've recently gotten your first vaccine shot. So when did you get your first shot? So I got my first shot uh, the day it was launched. Uh, in fact, uh, just after uh, our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, finished his uh, uh, address to the nation, uh, the vaccination program started at our hospital and uh, I received the shot. In fact, I received a call a day prior that I have been shortlisted for this vaccination uh, by our hospital administration, as well as uh, the a call came from the local uh, DM office. And uh, they confirmed that I have been shortlisted for vaccination. And I was very excited about it, uh, that you know all this negativity is about to end. We have now something in our hands with which uh, we can fight uh, COVID. Otherwise, whatever treatments we have had uh, for this disease, uh, the next day, the trial will show that this is not effective, be it remdesivir, be it uh, plasma therapy, everything has shown that not better than placebo. Uh, so uh, it was really a very, very unpredictable disease. And now with vaccination, we have a ray of hope that now uh, the immunity will increase and we will not have this disease uh, or uh, at least the disease severity will be less because we'll have a stronger immunity with us. Which vaccine did you get? It was Covishield. And, uh, this uh, decision uh, is not with the receiver, uh, with the recipient. The vaccination comes in a batch to the hospital or to the vaccination site. And uh, then uh, the vaccination is done. Uh, the nurse who gave me the vaccine told me that this is Covishield. And that was the first time that you, know, you, you come to know what this vaccine is. Got it. So what's the process followed? So as the vaccination uh, approvals were in sight, when the vaccines were there that you know the vaccine are going to be available soon the district administration and the state's uh, healthcare systems have done you know, tremendous work they have done a good amount of uh, 
you know hard work uh, behind this vaccination program you must understand that this is the largest vaccination program uh, in the world and uh, uh, to conduct uh, a vaccination of so many so many so many people this is a very daunting task much bigger than any small country in the west has ever seen so the data of all the healthcare workers of all the hospitals was collected and then the list was with the uh, administration and then they chose or shortlisted uh, 100 uh, people from our site uh, who were to be vaccinated on first day and uh, the list was out and then those people were individually called in fact i received a call on the day of vaccination on saturday morning also from the district magistrate office that you know i am shortlisted for the vaccination and am i reaching there or not and then i uh, reaffirmed that definitely i'll be there and i want to have this vaccine got it so have you experienced any side effects at all or have you heard of anybody else experiencing any side effects at all of after receiving the vaccination so at our site we had approximately 70 vaccinations the vaccination was a very very streamlined process it took hardly 5 minutes for the vaccination per se and then for 30 minutes we were asked to wait uh, in a observation area where we were observed for any untoward event which could have occurred all of us who kept on coming in the observation room uh, we were all elated we were all chatting with each other and uh, there was no side effect to my knowledge in our hospital at least we have heard a few cases of uh, some reactions uh, in other hospitals but in our hospital there was no event since all the recipients who received the vaccine are doing fine in fact uh, today is uh, the third day and i played tennis for 2 hours yesterday uh, sunday morning and today morning i went to gym also uh, as per my routine uh, schedule and i am not having any symptoms any malaise any weakness or uh, fever i am not having any symptoms uh, whatsoever of this vaccination there was some pain in my uh, injection site which was done in the uh, uh, left shoulder uh, but uh, that was uh, also very mild and uh, tolerable that, that that's great to hear so how does this change your life moving forward that's a very tricky question <laughs> it has not changed anything as of now because i have not developed any immunity the immunity will take uh, its own time body does not achieve full immunity for at least 15 more days so it has just changed my attitude it has just changed it has brought some ray of hope in my life that now we'll be able to live a normal life we'll be able to have those uh, get togethers those friendly talks with people in fact uh, this social distancing was a misnomer to start with and we have done a lot of social distancing in this it should have been just physical distancing not social distancing but unfortunately now this has led to a lot of you know if somebody comes to you near you you just feel why is he coming here why is he coming why is he even talking to me you know there's a lot of negativity till now but uh, with this vaccination i hope that we'll be uh, you know better off we'll be living in a better world and uh, soon uh, the herd immunity will come and the uh, the disease will occur as a one off phenomena and not as a serious disease that it was any any last message to our audience based on your experience so far so my message to audience is that we should believe in science we should not believe in the rumors we should not go for the so called whatsapp university uh, knowledge you know you should read the journal you should read the scientific statements and go for the actual science not go for uh, just hear abouts or whatever somebody has said you know don't follow that this vaccination though of course it has uh, come in a hurry the whole of the program of vaccine development was very much uh, accelerated but it is all based on science and the process was all known both the vaccine that are available in india as of now covid shield as well as uh, covaxin are based on the same science which we are using for so many years and these are not new things the vector based vaccinations are safe we have received all these vaccination in our childhood and these are safe uh, vaccines they don't have that serious side effects of course once you do mass vaccination once you do once you give this vaccine to so many people there will be certain events and you will keep hearing about some side effects but still if you see the disease was much worse than the vaccination side effects so please this is your chance to contribute for the eradication of this disease the even if if people don't take it the virus is going to stay uh, in the body uh, or or in the surface or uh, around us only when the all of them all of us are immune are vaccinated then only the disease can be eradicated so everybody must play their role 
in uh, eradication of this deadly disease. Uh, thank you so much for that, Dr. Astogi. To reiterate his point, prevention is definitely better than cure. And in this case, we don't even have a cure. So when it's your turn to get a vaccine, go right ahead and get one. It's entirely scientifically based. Doctors everywhere, the ones that we've spoken to previously and Dr. Astogi today, back it wholeheartedly. Thank you very much, Dr. Astogi. Stay safe. Thank you. Sir. Stay healthy.